Well, good morning, folks. Thanks for coming to our Virginia Open Carry Breakfast. I'm pleased to introduce our special guest, the Loudoun County Clerk of the Circuit Court, Mr. Gary Clemens. Gary will be drawing one of the raffle balls for the uh, 50 Cal Smith & Wesson revolver that Dale has brought with him today. Um, mm. like, like, like there has been in other raffles, there's 150 balls in the jar, but we only sold 100 tickets for this raffle, so any ball that's over 150 we'll just put back in and redraw until we get one between 1 through 100. Hopefully it will be 33 because that was my number. Let Gary draw the ball, and then we'll let him say a few words. Uh, since I'm elected, can I say they're all the winners? Yeah, they're, they're, they're all winners. But only one of the gun, I guess. Okay. Oh, now it's now. Either way. The lucky number is one, what? three. Wow. Listen. One, <laughs> three, six. Can't. It's got to be one through one. That one oh. goes back. Oh. <laughs> I can't even draw the ball. Last right. <laughs> time we took like three. Took like four times. Four times, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. Fifty-five. All right, fifty-five. Yeah, winner. Fifty-five is. Kang Lee. Kang Lee. So Kang Lee, and it could be a guy that bought on the internet or whatever. Kang Lee, you're the winner. Number 55, so very good. And uh, congratulations, gang. Now feel free to. Well, thank you uh, for letting me come by and distribute your breakfast this morning. I'm not going to talk very long, but I just want to take the opportunity to tell you a couple things about the concealed carry permit process that my office handles. First of all, on the opening part of this, where you get the application and file at my office, uh, we do have a lot of loud citizens that will fill out the application completely. There's one area I'd like to draw your attention to, and that's the area where you can put your social security number in the application. If you look very carefully, it's optional. It used to be years and years ago it was required. And even though the law changed and made it optional, the state police who actually create the application form have not removed that block from the application. They kept it there, but it now does say it's optional. Unfortunately, a lot of citizens don't really look at that very carefully, and they still put their social security number in that area. I would encourage you that when you talk to your friends, neighbors, or when you apply or reapply for your concealed carry permit, you may consider not putting your social security number in there because the application form is actually part of the case file, and conceivably upon request, it might be available for public inspection. So I would encourage you not to do that. Now, the good news is, the good news is I was concerned about this, so I have a court order that empowers me to remove the social security number if I see it. So as I'm signing permits, if I go to the file and I see on your application that you've left it there inadvertently, uh, I go ahead and mark it out pursuant to a court order that I received from our chief judge a couple years ago. But I'd rather you not put it on there to begin with because it's still in process until I get to it and remove it. So I just want to share that with you for your welfare and your benefit. On the other end, when the uh, judges have entered an order granting the permit, uh, they have up to 45 days to do that, and I have actually 45 days to issue the permit to you. Now, I don't know how many people here experience about other places in Virginia where it takes 45 days. In Loudoun County, it normally does not take that long. Uh, number one, we have a large volume of these applications, but number two, I want you to have your permit as soon as you can. So in most cases, we're getting these permits out within two weeks. Uh, but sometimes, because of the court's caseload, it may take a little bit longer. But generally, it should take a couple of weeks. And I share that because if you have an issue where it's taking longer than two weeks, you can contact me. Ed knows how to get a hold of me. Uh, if you have any friends that say, hey, it's been about four weeks, I haven't received my permit yet, uh, again, have them contact me. I'll look into it and make sure they get their permit uh, timely. But uh, we're available to help you and serve you. And if there's anything I can do to help you with your concealed carry permit, if you have any questions about it, uh, please feel free to call me. I sign every single one of the permits myself. I take pleasure in doing that. And uh, hopefully, uh, our paths across again, I'll be able to provide a service to you that you need as far as fulfilling your rights as a gun owner. And I just want to thank Ed for having me. And uh, I'll come back again and tell you some other news if uh, something develops in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank so you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.